Okay, Porter's gonna read this book for us. It's Moo Ba La La La. Ready? What does it say? Tao Shampoo. What's next? What does this one say? What does that say? Three singing pigs say. La la la. No, Rhinoceros is snort and snuff and What does this one say? Yeah. What does this one say? Yeah. Quack. Ah. Uh. The horse says nay. <laughs> Yay! Good job, Porter. All right, it's time for nap. What do you say, Porter? Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Why do you guys have hats on? You ready for preschool? Why are you wearing a hat to preschool? Because it's hat day. It's hat day at preschool? Yeah. Oh my goodness, is it hat day? Yeah. 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 Good morning, you guys. Like Gray said, today is hat day at preschool. So every week they learn about a new letter. This week it's H week. Usually they just have the kids bring like something from home that starts with that letter on Mondays and Tuesdays. So we did that. But then they also said that today, Thursday, they get to wear a hat to preschool. And I think they wear it all day. So we had a plethora of hats. I didn't think we'd have this many options, actually. So I'll show you all the different options we have for hat day, as if you're interested. So here were our options. We had the summer bucket hat. We have the gray hat. I think my mom got, like, Porter this forever ago. We have the black bear cat hat, which has seen better days. <clears throat> and then we've got two Santa hats. We've got this one. And then we've got this one that Porter has on. And then we've got this Christmas tree hat that Allison got Grace in actually from the dollar store like two <laughs> years ago. And it's super cute because it lights up. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. It lights up. <clears throat> so it's super cute. And out of all the hats, Grayson picked the Christmas tree hat. That's the hat he wanted to take to preschool. Yay. So he's wearing that for hat day. It's November, so I think it's okay to wear Christmas. It's a little early, but it's fine. No, 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 and then, no, no, November. It is November, and then Porter got jealous, so he picked a Santa hat to wear. So we are ready for hat day, and that's going to be so fun. Everybody's going to have their hats, so I'm sure his teacher will take a classroom picture to see what all the kids wear for hat day, huh? They didn't say how to be silly, they just said a hat. So I thought maybe he'd pick the bear cat hat, this one, because he used to always wear that when he was little. But the Christmas tree one caught his eye. So that's what we're wearing today. While he's at preschool, Porter and I are gonna go to Target. I haven't been there forever. And I just wanna get some stuff. So we're gonna shop and then pick Gray from preschool and then Nap time. Gray was up several times last night. I think he's getting another cold. He was up at like 2 a.m. and then like 3.30 a.m. And then I heard him at 7 a.m. 
So he's got to be exhausted. I'm tired. Um, it seemed like when I went in at 3.30 a.m., he was like wide awake. <laughs> so I don't know how long it took him to fall asleep. So I'm going to see if maybe I can get him to take a nap during nap time because he needs it. Um, and then it's been unseasonably warm outside. I don't know, like this whole week it's like high 60s, low 70s, which is unheard of for like November in Ohio. Granted, it is the beginning of November. So I think this is just supposed to last like a week and a half and then it's supposed to get down to the 40s. So we are going to go outside this afternoon, take advantage of the nice weather. And also I've been trying to prepare for daylight savings time. It's on... Sunday. I hate daylight savings. Um, it messes with you personally and then if you have kids it takes it to a whole nother level. Sorry I'm putting my shoes on. I read an account that said you're supposed to put your kids to bed 10 minutes later every day to like get them ready and then of course the last day you put them an hour it'll add up to an hour later because we fall back so we go back an hour. So I've been trying to do that but I don't know. It, I always know it's going to be hard. The I'll put the kids to bed an hour later on Saturday night and Sunday they'll wake up at 7.30, which would really be 6.30 with the daylight savings. So Sunday's going to be a rough day, <laughs> but I think my sister and uh, my sisters and mom and I are going to go shopping. So hopefully that will help. But we're getting ready. I got to get coats on everybody. It's super foggy out today, probably because of the weird warm weather. Um, so it's kind of spooky outside, even though Halloween is over. So anyway, I'll just pull out the camera later, maybe when we're like playing outside or something. Porter, show me how you jump in the leaves. No, no. No, he was just jumping in this pile. Here's Gray. You gonna jump? Of course, when I bring the camera out. No. What happened? And Gray's up there playing with the soccer ball. What are you doing? Porter got some kind of dirt on his nose. Looks like I painted it. <laughs> we are out here raking leaves. Um, I just have this really big pile. And then, of course, more leaves fall every day. But beforehand, it was like so bad you couldn't even see the grass. So... This is much better. Are you gonna jump? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Okay. You gonna jump? Woo! <laughs> Woo! That's Porter's version of jumping. He just falls. They love jumping in the leaves. So, yeah, I've been raking. I got all our leaves down here at the curb. That's what we do here in our city is we just rake them to the curb and then truck comes by and sucks them all up. So every afternoon, cause it's so nice out, we come out. First I do it with the leaf blower till it dies and then I rake. And that's my workout for the day. And I do it till the boys get bored. And then we usually go around to the front and do sidewalk chalk. Anthony's working and we are out here enjoying the nice weather. It's 68 today, so super sunny and warm. Woohoo! Go port! <laughs> Ready, set, go! All right, so we moved to the front, and Gray's doing some sidewalk chalk, and he's drawing a family picture. So there's me with the baby in my belly, and he said, this is Dottie. I don't know why I'm so much bigger. And he said, Dottie has a big belly, but there's no baby in his belly. <laughs> and who is this? Grayson. Oh, this is Grayson. Looks like Grayson has a big belly, too. Porter is over here playing with the lawnmower. No, you don't have a baby in your belly. Only mommy. We all kind of look like chickens. Now I have short hair. You have short hair? Okay. Nice. Oh, now he's drawing Porter. 
Nice. I guess he had to draw our family at preschool today, so now he's just drawing it with sidewalk chalk.